about uh, burning the old midnight oil. You want to grab some dinner? Mm, sure. I think Lois is still here. Should we invite her? Yeah, okay. Great, if you say so. Lois! What? No. No, stop it. No, I was kidding. No, stop it. Stop it. Lois! Stupid You want to come for dinner? Annie's coming too. Yeah, come. Where are you guys going? <laughs> Should I go to get my jacket? My laptop is there. Some ladies first. Put on some weight. What? I've been telling you not to stay at work so late. When you do that, you snack. A moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. Okay, do you not be a douchebag right now. I have not eaten for 10 hours. I love it when you get hungry and bitchy. I've always found it so hot. Look, I think we should consider dating again. I don't think you're going to find a lot of guys who find your bitchiness quite this attractive. Oh. Well, will I be able to find any guys who will cheat on me with my roommate while I'm out of town? That was next. Narcissistic metrosexual actor boy thing going on. For your information, I was trained at theater camp. I believe I have a shot. Totally. You and every waiter in Los Angeles get a grip. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? Tis the east. Oh, and then you. Wait for me. This place really gives me the creeps at night. That's because it's creepy. I'm going to impress people working dead-end jobs all day. You know what? For your information, I actually happen to like working here. They told me that I have a very bright future at this company. Yeah. I told that to Lois, too. I think getting mauled is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to her. Hmm. Well, I'm just saying, her life kind of sucks. I think I'm better than everybody. I don't know everybody. There's over 7 billion people on the planet now. You know, I've never met every single one of them, but I think that I'm mean, probably, what, 99th percentile, 98th percentile? Ah! Janet! Have you seen a, a big monster carrying away Lois? Yeah. Which way'd they go? They went back there. Awesome. Great. So what are you saying? I'm not hell? Why did you never even see my work? When I was in ninth grade, I did a legendary production of Lear at the local synagogue. Okay. It was written up in all the papers. Talk it's not it. practical. It's not. You can stay here, you can work hard, you can get a promotion, get some health benefits, and become a real adult. Oh, the spreadsheets and like the pointless staff meetings and the office monsters dragging people around at night. It's just not me. Well, I guess if you're gonna do it, you should do it now. You know, you're not getting any younger. 27, it's not exactly old. You're 29. I've seen your driver's license. When did you see my driver's license? I like to know about the people that I date. I always said it was weird you lied about your age. Clearly, I was correct about the subject. It's a very ageist industry that I'm in. Do you know if you were the trade? Oh, my God, shut up. Shh, shh, It's okay. But look, I, I think we'll make a good team. I really think you should consider dating me again. Of course you do. Because you need a girlfriend with a real job so you can stay at home and play with yourself all day. I already have a dog. Feel like sushi? Yeah, sushi, whatever. As long as they have sake, the one. Hi! 